Are you frustrated by using the same ordinary ball heads? Well, it's time for a better solution. Introducing the all new Andy City monitor mount. Look at its flexibility and precise positioning. Nothing holds it back even when you do. Achieve a new sense of efficiency and motivation. With this much mobility, nothing can stop you from achieving new heights. Unleash your full potential and become the filmmaker your friends envy. So I was sent this vlogger kit by Andy Sinney. And it's a monitor mount which has a few tricks up its sleeve. And it's very cool and I've really come to enjoy it so far. Um, you get the monitor mount itself and also a few accessories. There's an Allen wrench. It's going to help you adjust your tension on the monitor mount. A few bits and other stuff that I have not really needed, but it's there. And it comes in this really cool case, which I think is great. You can fit other things like SD cards or whatnot. So when I was first sent this, I was really intrigued by it, but the one problem was I don't own a monitor. So I had to borrow one for a short film I was using. So I'm like, okay, I'll do my testing there. So I put this on my C100 and used the monitor for that. And it worked great, just having that flexibility of adjusting it how you want it and nothing need to be adjusted or tighten anything down. It was great. And I was beginning to think, hmm, what other ways could you use a mount like this for? So I thought, well, I have this little slider here and I don't have like a ball head for anything like that. And you're doing a lot of different positioning. So I figured if we just attach this little mount and as long as your camera is light enough, you can just put it on. It should just work even better than a traditional ball head. Am I right? Let's say you want to get a low angle. Boom, you're right there. High angle, boom. You can twist it so you can get a pushing in shot or you can get a sliding shot. How quick and easy is that? I thought that was pretty sweet. And there's a little bit of friction, so maybe you can do even some smooth panning and tilting with that. I think once you own one of these, you'll enjoy it so much that you don't really want to use anything else. Hey guys, what's up? I thought I'd show you around sort of my YouTube space that I have here. As you can see, look at that wall. It's a wood pallet wall that I've been working on a little bit. I wanted to try to add some interest in the background besides these boring gray walls beforehand. So I think it definitely adds a lot of character um, texture and it's kind of something interesting to look at so that's the first thing we got a little bit more to go over on this wall here we're going to do a little bit more of that but so far it's pretty exciting so let me know what you guys think of that the other thing I want to talk about today is the fact that the channel has crossed 4,000 subscribers where do I begin? Um, it's another milestone, you know, it's not 10,000, 100,000, or a million, but it does mean that the channel is growing and more people are finding this channel valuable and that is great. I know clicking subscribe to a certain channel certainly means a lot for me um, that I'm getting value from that channel. So the fact that 4,015 people so far have felt the same, that is fantastic. Um, I've been doing some thinking yesterday. Uh, I felt like I had a different outlook on the way things were going. And I can't really say it was a positive one. Um, for one, it's like I was kind of getting discouraged with the views and I'm trying my best to make this eventually a full-time thing. And I definitely want to keep creating other content. But I've been struggling with motivation trying to make my content as best as I can. But then I began to look back and see how actually, how much it has actually grown. It's It's been quite a bit, you know? It's all about changing your perspective on things because really it can be such a positive thing towards many people. But if you're only looking at it from this one angle, not really helping you or other people so yeah that's why I was my takeaway on it so yeah thanks again to all you guys who are subscribed and along for the journey it's only gonna get better from here I hope